Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Tammy Salamone, the Pink Survivor, and today I'm making a very special video. It can be for anybody, but it's also going to be specifically for the blind or anyone who's visually impaired. So it's going to be very descriptive. We're going to be doing uh, 40 seconds for each exercise, and then we'll have a 20 second break. You'll hear a little bell that will tell us when we move on to the next break or exercise. And let's get started here with just a little warm up. So I am sitting just in a normal folding chair. So you could be sitting in any stable chair. And all we're gonna start with is I'm gonna have my arms out down by my side. Let's take a nice, good, deep breath to get started here. So I'm just gonna breathe in and out. And bring our arms up and down. Next, what we're going to do is I'm just going to have my arms extended out by my side so they're just completely out straight and I'm going to do little arm circles. So I'm just rotating my arms in a complete little circle. They are straight out at my side and we're going to do this for a bit and then we're going to reverse it. So we've got these little arm circles here. Let's do a few more, three, two, and one. Same thing, but let's reverse that circle, okay? So I still have my arms extended out at my side and they are about shoulder height and I'm just doing a little rotation, little circle going back, 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 just kind of warming up here, our upper body a bit. Three and two and one. Perfect. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to just tap my heel and bring it back out. So I extend my leg, tap my heel, and I'm alternating and I'm going back and forth. So I'm tapping my heel and bringing it back. Tapping my heel, bringing it back. So everything we're gonna do, we're just gonna stay pretty much in the chair. Maybe at the end I'll try something um, standing, but for now I thought this would be a great one just to get started with. So I'm tapping my heels, kind of just warming up lower body a bit here. Your arms can just be relaxing at your side or on your lap, wherever you want. So a few more taps here. Three and two and one. Perfect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, arms and I'm going to punch. So you know how you're just punching forward and I'm just punching forward and I'm alternating. So I'm one arm and then the other. We're just alternating back and forth here. This is going to get our heart rate up a bit and also warm up our upper body a little more. So we're punching here, we're just punching forward, 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 alternating, punching forward. And I'm going to use a, a light pair of weights. You could really do this whole workout if you don't have any weights, but if you have one kind of light or medium pair, that would be great. And even water bottles would work, at least it's some kind of resistance. Okay, a few more punches here, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna get started with our first exercise and it's gonna be an alternating bicep curl with my arms extended high. Okay, let's see. All right, we're here at the bell. This is just my time to describe. My arms are going to be out forward. So they are extended forward, completely forward. And my palms are facing up. Now, if I don't have weights, I'm just gonna bend at my elbow and kind of tap my hand on my shoulder. So arms extended out, here we go. And you're tapping your shoulder, tap your shoulder. Alternate, your fingers are coming towards your shoulder. Now, if you have a weight, let me just grab mine quickly. It's going to be the same exact thing. Arms extended out and my weight is gonna to come towards my shoulder and back out. Towards my shoulder, back out. Bending out my elbow and out. Bending out. So keep going there either with or without your weights. Let's keep tapping, tapping. Arms are raised up. You know, they're, they're not low at my side. They're extended out. A few more here. Great. Okay, so that bell is your rest time. So the next one we're going to do are called heel slides. So all you're going to do, you don't need any weights. You're going to extend your one leg out and then I'm going to slide on the ground with my heel. I'm going to extend the other leg, here's our bell, and slide forward. So out, 
with one leg, slide your heel towards the chair. Out with the other leg and slide towards the chair. So with this one, you're keeping your heel on the ground. That's going to work the back of your leg. So alternate, keep extending out and slide the heel forward, up towards you. So I extend out and I slide back towards my chair. Okay, we got a few more. Keep going with this one. These are called seated heel slides. Keep going. And great. Okay, next we have a seated overhead tricep extension. One arm at a time. So if you have a weight, grab one. If not, don't worry about it. I'm going to extend my arm completely overhead. So my arm is right by my ear. I'm starting with my right. I got my weight. What I'm going to do now is bring that weight down towards my shoulder, the back of my shoulder, and then extend it back up. So I'm coming down, bending only at my elbow, and back up. So we're gonna do this side, and then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So you have your weight or not, but arm is extended straight over your head. Weight comes down towards back, right behind your shoulder, back up. Let's keep going with this one. Don't want to hold your breath. Should feel that right in your tricep. Okay, that's our break time. Or you're just going to bring your weight over into your other arm. So now I'm going to do my left arm. And the way we're going to get started is going to extend right up overhead. My weight is there or not, and I'm going to bend at the elbow. There's our timer. Towards my back of my shoulder now on the left side and back up. So I have extended and down, up, down, up, down. So we're keeping that arm kind of close to my, my ear too and my head. It's not really far out or anything. It's pretty close right by the side of my head. So you don't want to hit yourself on the head, but <laughs> do the best you can. These ones are, are tough. You'll feel your triceps working pretty quickly. A couple more here. Great, okay. We do not need the weights um, for the next one, unless you want to kind of just rest it on top of your leg above your knee. But all we're gonna do is in our chair, you're going to do a seated calf raise. So I'm gonna come up on my toes this time and down. Up on the toes and down. My legs are still bent. They're not doing anything just seated in the chair, but I come up on my toes and down. Up, 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 up. You can do this as fast or as slow as you want, but I guarantee you're gonna feel that in the back of your legs and your calf muscle pretty quickly. So seated, half raise, up on the toes, back down, up, 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 up. You got it, Whew. 10 more seconds here. I'm already feeling this one, it's crazy. Doesn't take much. A few more seconds. Whew, good, that is your rest. And feel free to have some water bottle nearby if you need to drink something. A seated chest fly. Now you're gonna take your weights or water bottles, whatever you have. I'm going to extend my arms out straight in front of me. So the right extended straight in front of me. And I have my weights holding in my palms. My palms are facing each other. And then I'm going to open wide out to the side and come back together. It's called a seated chest fly. So my weights start out extended in front of me together. Then they extend out to each of my sides and back to the side and back. So they're kind of right in front of me, extended kind of right in front of my face, and then they come back out. Whew, yeah, I feel this one. Seated chest fly. Keep going, a couple more, a couple more. Whew, okay, weights down for the next one. It's called a seated knee raise with a crossover. So what you're going to do is you're going to Lift one leg up, so you're gonna just lift it up, not extended, and you're gonna try and come over like you're crossing your leg and back. 
So you come up like crossing your leg and then come back. Then do the same thing on the other side. So I come up with my knee and then I cross it over like I'm gonna cross my leg, but before I do, I come back and put it down. Up, cross, back down. Up, cross, back down. Keep alternating. So you come up, cross, back down. Up, cross, back down. So it's almost like you're gonna cross your legs, but you stop right before you do. A few more. Whew, this is a good one too. Really good. Oh, let's do one more on each side. And then we have a seated side bend. So I like to grab both my weights um, for this one. Actually, just one weight at a time, sorry. And I'm gonna maybe just scoot a little forward on my chair. The weight is just hanging down by my side. It's on my right side, it's not doing anything. But I'm gonna just lean towards the right and then come back up. So I'm bending at my waist and back up. Bend at your waist. My weight is in my right hand. I'm leaning towards the right. Back up, down, back up. And my other hand can be just, just relaxing there. It could be on my shoulder. It could be going overhead, whatever you wanna do. But the main thing is that the right side, bending towards the right, and the weight is in the right hand. It's a seated side bend. Okay, let's do it. One more here. Now the weight's gonna come over onto the other side and we do the same thing. So I've got the weight in my left hand. It's just hanging down by my side. I'll probably put my other hand on my shoulder here. And here we go. So I bend to the left side this time and back up. Bend to the left, bending at your waist, remember. And down, back up. Bend at your waist, back up. Seated, side bend. Let's do a little more of this. Wow, we are almost done. This workout, I hope you enjoyed this and were able to get a great, short, quick, effective workout in. We have, let's see, five more seconds of this one here. Keep doing your side bend, bend it. And there is our timer, okay. Our last one is just a little trickier. It's a chair squat. What I'm gonna do is I'm touching my chair. I'm going to stand up and then I'm going to come back down and sit all the way down. If you need to kind of use your hand, there's our timer to guide you. That's fine, but you're gonna come all the way up and it's a chair squat all the way down, all the way up, sit all the way down and you can go as fast or as slow as you want. So it's called a chair squat. You're gonna feel it. You wanna try and have your knees pointed outwards, not so much inwards, so that will help as well. So keep it going. If you don't have to hold on, great. But if you feel better, just kinda of guiding a little bit, touching every time you come down, keep going. A few more seconds. You're almost there. Ooh, that is our timer for our cool down. Great job. That was, um, I kind of touched a little bit of upper body. and Also, we did a little abs and we did a little lower body. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's just stretch it out a little bit. This time I'm just going to, I'm seated on my chair again. I'm just going to have a side bend where I have my arm up. My left arm is up, extended over and I'm bending towards the side. Just trying to stretch from my uh, shoulder all the way down my side. Bending at my waist, just holding it. My left arm is up overhead and I'm bending towards my right. Ooh. And then my right arm is going to come up overhead. I'm bending towards my left side now at the waist. And I'm just doing the seated side then now for the other side. Also, you can take some good deep breaths. That hard part is over. And I'm gonna come back. My arm's now down at my sides. And all I'm gonna do is do a shoulder roll. So I'm gonna roll my shoulders forward and then up and back. 
forward, up and back. So let's do a few shoulder rolls. They always feel so good. <laughs> Got that here. Good. Let's do a little uh, lower body too. So as seated in on my chair, I'm going to pull one of my knees up. So I'm gonna grab my foot. I'm gonna either grab my ankle, or I'm gonna grab my shin or at my knee, and I'm just gonna pull it up towards my body. So I'm just getting a good stretch there. So you can grab it wherever you can. Like I said, maybe it's your ankle and your shin or just at your knee and you're pulling it up. Pull it up towards your chest, towards your body and hold it here. This is a good stretch. Lower body. Perfect, put that one down. Whichever one you didn't do, let's grab it again, either at the knee, the shin, or the ankle, pull it up, and then your knee, you know, your upper legs, and come towards your chest, and you're just holding this stretch for a little bit here. Just get this one in too. You guys are just about done, stick with me here. Whew. Hold this for a few more seconds. Put that leg down, perfect. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna have our arms extend out, reaching up and overhead while we take a good deep breath. Okay, ready? And then your arms come back down. You do one more. And that's about it. I think you're gonna hear our timer here. Activity completed. Great job, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day.